Greetings once again, VAC fans. I have a couple of welcome mats. One's in the front, one's in the back. And they are, well, very interesting mats. I suppose a lot of people have them. Obviously, they're completely sealed. But they have a lot of crevices, or over across the pond, crevasses. So, I'm wondering if I put down some sand and some flour, and I turn the brush rolls off, from, I'm going to try these two machines, Kirby G4 and Dyson DC65. I wonder which one would pick up sand and flour in the crevices. I guess I'll do the Dyson one first. And I'll do it on both mats. And I'll switch over to the, the G4. And I'm not gonna put it all over the place. I'll just kind of have it here and there. a little bit over here. All right. This is just going to be kind of a general test. Visual test. Do they pick up at all? Are they both equal? Are they radically different? Who knows? All right, let's go with the Dyson first. I'm going to turn the brush roll off. Let's get the old G4 out of the way. Let's see what happens. That is a pretty clean sweep. So, I mean, this has the self-adjusting head, so that definitely is gonna make some kind of a seal around here. It grabbed sand and it grabbed flour. Oh, it left a little bit here, but so what? So that was a great result. Now let's try this one, see if it's any different. Brush roll will be turned off. Okay, so that was a great result too. Fantastic. So I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any sand either here or there. And the flower, oh, there's a tiny bit stuck in there, but that's pretty much a perfect result. So if you have these kinds of mats and you've got something like this, it'll do a great job of picking up this kind of stuff and that kind of stuff. Maybe not other kind of stuff, but this, it works well. All right, so let's go on to the, to the G4. Do the same thing. So pardon me while I put some more stuff down here. Might be a little heavier than what I did for the Dyson, but so what? Just kind of an approximate test. Good enough. And put this on the top. Now, oddly enough, I have seen some people on YouTube starting to do flooring that has large cracks in it not as large as this that's that's a finger width i mean something much skinnier than this and i've seen some of the vacuums do okay and some of them do poorly but you have to admit there's some pretty large cracks and i know it's not the same thing as the flooring it's just 
this is something where you've got some raised areas and some very uh, deep areas, obviously, and you can see how deep that is. I mean, we're looking at least probably about a quarter of an inch. All right, let's see what this does. I think I have this set on, um, on setting number two. Brush roll is off. Yeah, that uh, is a great result. I think it's a little bit better in the 65, but you know what? I'm not going to complain about either one of these. They both did a great job. Okay, so a fabulous job from both of them. There was a slight difference. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the Kirby had um, a little bit better performance, a little more of a complete job, and you saw it actually lift up the, um, I was going to say, the pile. Yeah, the rubber pile. It just lifted the mat up a little bit. Um, this is a very thick, heavy mat, by the way, because obviously it's a, a front or rear, you know, kind of a doormat. But this, to me, gives me some indication might be loose uh, or, or kind of gross that um, if you have um, like a bare floor like say something like this and it has some crevices in it now this is obviously goes all the way through you have some crevices in it and you know shapes some designs obviously this is all over the place I know not it's not an exact match I don't happen to have that kind of looks like a laminate flooring with spaces in between but either one of these machines did a great job. Brush roll off on both. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.